Well, the holidays are officially over. The legislature isn't sitting here at Queen's Park, but I'm told to expect lots of announcements and actions starting next week. And the first six months of Doug Ford's mandate was a whirlwind, but he did a lot of the easy things, the easy announcements like buck a beer and repealing the sex ed curriculum. Now the really hard work begins, and this is what we can expect from a government that has kept everyone on their toes. Is 2019 going to be as much as a whirlwind as the last six months? Well, I, I don't think you're going to see us slow down all that much. Government House Leader Todd Smith says creating jobs is one of the top priorities, as well as the budget. That will be the biggest challenge for Premier Ford to tackle. His government claims there's a $15 billion deficit. Critics say that's inflated, but either way, Ford has promised to balance the books by year four without job losses. And it's not going to be easy. Watch for the budget to come out around March, and it will set the blueprint for cuts. How painful is it going to be to be able to balance the books? Uh, I don't think it has to be painful. I think uh, everyone understands that... Uh, $15 billion. I mean, that seems like it's going to be a lot of sharp cuts. Yeah, this, you know, there's a lot of efficiencies to be found. Another challenge, the battle with the feds over the carbon tax, or as the Liberals call it, cap and trade, will amp up. The federal Liberals imposed a heavy industry carbon tax on Ontario January 1st. A gas tax will take effect in Ontario April 1st. But Doug Ford isn't going to take that lying down. The province is considering putting stickers on gas pumps detailing how much the feds imposed cap and trade is costing you every time you fill up. They also want to put the cost on receipts and gas bills. Doug Ford campaigned on ending hallway medicine and there is no quick easy fix. Emergency departments are facing more patients and longer delays than ever before. And roughly one quarter of all hospital beds are taken by people who should be in long-term care, contributing to a massive backlog. The government has promised 6,000 new long-term care beds, but the wait list is 30,000. There was some talk this morning the government may recall the legislature early and come back before the end of January. Todd Smith promises that's not going to happen. The scheduled date still stands. February the 19th. February 19th. February 19th. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. <laughs> we'll see. I'm holding you to this. <laughs> Are binding. Now, some other things to watch for. We're waiting for the Integrity Commissioner's report on the controversial appointment of Doug Ford's friend Ron Tavner to the top OPP position. We're also waiting to see what the government does on the law and order side. It's put in new oversight rules but done by the previous government on hold for now. And teacher contracts are coming up. We're going to see how the government deals with that powerful union.